Hi, welcome to Mathematics. In this video, we want to solve for a and b. In square root of a plus square root of b is equal to 10. That's equation 1. And we have square root of the product of a multiplied by b equals 10. That's equation 2. That's the solution. We have square root of a plus square root of b equals 10. Equation 1 and square root of AB equals 10. That is equation 2. From here, we square both sides of equation 1. If you square both sides of equation 1, we will have square root of A plus square root of b square equals then we square 10 then square so by expanding this we will have square root of a plus square root of b square root of a multiplied by square root of a plus square root of b equals 10 multiplied by 10 so if we expand this bracket, we have square root of a multiplied by square root, square root of a. We have square root of a square. Then square root of a multiplied by square root of b. We have square root of a square root of b. Square root of b multiplied by square root of a. We have plus square root of a plus square root of b. Then we have square root of b multiplied by square root of b. We have plus square root of b square then we have 10 multiplied by 10 and that is 100 from here we have square root of a square square root of a square root of b plus square root of a square root of b we have plus 2 square root of a square root of b plus square root of b square equals 100 then if you have let's say if you have this square root of a square it implies you have a raised to power 1 over 2 raised to power 2 and this will cancel we have a therefore the above expression we have this will cancel out this this will cancel out this we have a plus 2 root a root b plus b equals 100 so we have a plus b plus 2 root a root b equals 100 but recall that square root of a b equals 10 and that's from equation 2 so now substitute square root of a b equals 10 into the above expression we have a plus b plus 2 this will become square root of a b equals 100 then we have a plus b plus 2 Square root of a b equals 10. And we have 100. Then we have a plus b plus 20 equals 100. So we have a plus b equals 100 minus 20. If you collect the lifetime, we have a plus b equals 80 let's name this equation 3 also by square both sides of equation 2 also by square both sides of equation 2 because as you say square root of a b equals 10 if you square it we have square root of a b square equals 
10 square. And we will see that this will cancel out this. As we explained earlier, we have AB equals 10 square will be 100. Let's name that equation 4. So we make B the subject of the formula in equation 3. So what is by equation 3? Consist it A plus B equals 80. So B will be equal to 80. If we transfer this one, we have minus A. Now we substitute B. We substitute B equals 80 minus A into equation 4. What's it by equation 4? This is equation 4. AB equals 100. So therefore we have A. B, our B equals 80 minus A. 80 minus A equals 100. Then, if you expand this bracket, we have A multiplied by 80, we have 80A minus A times A, we have A squared equals 10, 100. By arranging this, we have minus A square plus 80A minus 100 equals 0. So but by multiplying, two out by minus 1. We have minus 1 minus a square plus 80a minus 100 equals 0 minus 1 times 0. We have a square minus 80a plus 100 equals 0. We we'll number this equation 6. So now you will see that this is a quadratic equation. So we have to solve this above equation quadratically. So let's solve this by quadratic equation. By quadratic, we have using quadratic formula which says that a equals minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a but here we observe that our a equals which is the coefficient of a square that is 1 b equals coefficient of a we have minus 80 and our c is constant which is 100 so by substituting this value into this we have a equals minus b what's our b minus 80 we have minus 80 plus or minus square root of b square is minus 80 square minus 4 times a is 1 multiplied by c is 100 divided by 2 times a is 1 we have a to be equal minus 1 times minus 80 that is 80 plus or minus square root of minus 80 squared that is 6400 minus 4 times 1 that is 4 times 100 that is 400 divided by 2 times 1 that is 2 then we have a equals 80 plus or minus square root of 6400 minus 400 that is 6000 divided by 2 we have a equals 80 plus or minus then we have to express 6000 as the product of two number let's say 400 multiplied by 15 
divided by 2. So we have a equals 80 plus or minus square root of 400 multiplied by square root of 15 divided by 2. Then we have a equals 80 plus or minus square root of 400 that is 20 then multiply by square root of 15 divided by 2. Now here we have our a to be 80 divided by 2 plus or minus 20 root 15 divided by 2. So we see that our a will be equal to 80 divided by 2 that is 40 plus or minus then 20 divided by 2 we have 10 root 15 so now our here will be equals 40 plus 10 root 15 or 40 minus 10 root 15 so these are value of a to obtain our b to obtain b let's recall recall that we have our b equals 80 minus a so when to to obtain b we say when a equals this equals 40 plus 10 root 15 then our b will be 80 minus 40 plus 10 root 15 then our b will be 80 minus ten, minus 1 times 40 that is minus 40 minus times plus that is minus 10 root 15 then we have b equals 40 80 minus 40 that's 40 minus 10 root 15 so this is when he our he is cos equals this so but when our a equals to this 40 minus 10 root 15 when our he equals 40 minus 10 root 15 we we'll have our b to be we we'll have 80 minus c then our b equals 80 minus our a is 40 minus 10 root 15 we have b to be 80 minus 10 minus 1 times 40 that is minus 40 minus times minus that is plus then we have my one then we have plus minus times minus that is plus minus one times 10 root 5 15 we have 10 root 15 so our b equals 80 minus 40 that is 40 plus 10 root 15 therefore we will have our a comma b with the answer to be our a at the top we have 40 plus 10 root 15 comma our value of b then then our b is 40 minus 10 root 15 that's the fourth coordinate then we have command the second point is our a the second value of a is 10 minus 10 40 minus 10 root 15 then comma 40 
plus this, that's the second value for b this is our answer thank you for watching if you enjoyed this video kindly like and leave a comment and don't forget to share with your friends and network do well to also subscribe to stay updated on our next video bye